our tutorial Ramsey Reset Test. Multiple regression assumptions consist of independent variables correct specification, independent variables no linear dependence, regression correct functional form, residuals no autocorrelation, residuals homoelasticity, and residuals normality. This topic is part of multiple regression analysis with our curse. Feel free to take a look at curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Correct functional form consists of evaluating whether regression independent variable's optimal relationship with dependent variable is linear or nonlinear. This is evaluated through Ramsey regression specification error test or reset linearity test, which consists of adding nonlinear transformations of fitted original regression data as independent variables to original regression and assessing if nonlinear transformations of fitted original regression data as independent variables are jointly statistically significant. For full reference, I recommend that you read Ramsey, Test for Specification Errors in Classical Linear Least Squares Regression Analysis, published in the Journal of the Royal Statistical Society series in 1969. As a formula, here we have the example of a regression with two independent or explanatory variables, in which the dependent or explained variable is equal to an alpha constant or intercept plus a beta 1 coefficient multiplied by the first independent or explanatory variable plus a beta 2 coefficient multiplied by the second independent or explanatory variable plus a sum from the first to the k number of nonlinear transformations of the corresponding gamma coefficients multiplied by the nonlinear transformations of fitted original regression data plus this regression residuals or forecasting errors. And what we're testing is Ramsey reset gamma coefficients f statistic p value. If Ramsey reset gamma coefficients f statistic p value was less than alpha level of statistical significance, then regression had incorrect functional form with 1 minus alpha level of statistical confidence. On the other hand, if Ramsey reset the gamma coefficients f statistic p value was greater than alpha level of statistical significance, then regression had correct functional form with 1 minus alpha level of statistical confidence. Great, so let's go into R Studio so that we can study correct functional form through Ramsey Reset test with greater detail. Perfect, so here we are within R Studio. In this tutorial, we'll be working within R Tutorial Ramsey Reset test code file. So the first step within the tutorial is to load the corresponding packages. This is done with the library function, and for this tutorial, we'll be using QuantMod and LM test. So, we select those two code lines, then we click Run or Ctrl Enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. The following step is to create data for Ramsey Reset Test. This is done by creating this data object, which is equal to read.csv, and within it we have the name of the data file, Ramsey Reset Test Data, as a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values and stored within the working directory, comma header equals to true. So, we select the code line, then we click Run or Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. So as we can see, this created a data object within the global environment as a data frame. So we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon. And this opens the data for us. So first we have a column with dates, dates with a monthly frequency from the beginning of 1997 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 20 years of data. Then we have stocks. Stocks corresponds to the dependent or explained variable and this corresponds to SPY ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index, and here we have the corresponding SPY ETF investment vehicle monthly arithmetic return of its adjusted close prices. Adjusted close prices because they were adjusted for dividends and splits. And then we have all the independent or explanatory variables. First, we begin with monthly effective yield of one-year treasuries, 10-year treasuries, high yield. Then we have monthly inflation or deflation, 
for consumer price index, producer price index. Then we have prices monthly arithmetic returns for oil. And last we have monthly arithmetic changes of industrial production index and PCE or personal consumption expenditures. So back into the code file, the following step is we're going to convert that data into an XTS, XTS which stands for extensible time series. So we overwrite data as an XTS, as mentioned previously with the XTS function. So from the data object we created previously, we're selecting from columns two to 10, which includes all the dependent and independent or explanatory variables, comma, order by equals as date. And here we select data, the first column with those dates. So we select the code line, then we click run or control enter on the keyword, which is equivalent. So if we reopen the data object, as we can see, we have the same data as before, but now the dates became its index. So now that we have the data ready, we can continue with Ramsey reset test. So here we're going to perform Ramsey reset test with the function reset test. And within it, we have the description of the original regression in which the dependent or explained variable is stocks being explained by all the independent or explanatory variables. One year treasuries plus 10 year treasuries plus high yield plus CPI plus PPI plus oil plus industrial production index plus PC or personal consumption expenditures. Data equals to that data object we created above. Power equals to two. Therefore, in this corresponding Ramsey reset test, we'll be including as independent or explanatory variable the squared fitted values from the original regression. Type equals to fitted, as mentioned previously, as we're including the power two, we're including the squared fitted values from the original regression as independent or explanatory variables within this Ramsey reset test. An important observation here is that these corresponding parameters were only included as educational examples, therefore they are not fixed and they can be modified according to your needs. So let's go ahead and select the code line here from beginning to end, then we click run or control enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. So notice right here within the console that the result has been printed. So we have the Ramsey reset test with the corresponding test statistic for the Ramsey reset and the associated p-value. This is the associated p-value as explained within the slides. Perfect. So now that we finished starting Ramsey reset test, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, training, or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.